The National Transportation Safety Board releasing new information about the events leading up to the crash of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two over the Mojave Desert on Friday. The NTSB revealing that a lever controlling the spacecraft's feathers was moved earlier than it should have. After it was unlocked, the feathers moved into the deployed position and two seconds later, we saw disintegration. After combing the five-mile debris field, the NTSB says they found most of the important parts needed for the investigation. We've got many, many issues to look into much more extensively before we can determine the cause. The aircraft was designed to launch six tourists into space, but only two pilots were on board for the test flight. 43-year-old Peter Siebold survived the crash, parachuting to the ground, suffering moderate injuries. On Sunday, Virgin's partner company said Siebold was alert and speaking, but investigators will not interview him until he's ready. His co-pilot, 39-year-old Michael Alsbury, was killed. Virgin Galactic's founder, Richard Branson, tweeted this picture of the two together. We're going to learn from what went wrong. Over the weekend, Branson rejected speculation about the program's safety. And to be honest, I find it slightly irresponsible that people who know nothing about what they're saying can be saying things before the NTSB uh, makes their comments. Virgin Galactic reiterated the importance of the investigation, saying, Virgin Galactic is not in a position to comment on the incident itself or the test flight. The National Transportation Safety Board is in charge of the investigation. All inquiries should be directed to them.